In this tutorial, we will see how to compute several types of reliability. The types of reliability we will be covering are 1. Series reliability 2. Parallel reliability 3. System reliability With system reliability, we have two or more components connected one after another, and all of the components must function for the product to function. With parallel reliability, we have two or more components connected in such a way that at least one of them must function for the product to function. You can think of parallel reliability as having redundant components. If one fails, another takes over. With system reliability, you have a combination of series and parallel reliability. To calculate series reliability, we simply multiply all of the component reliabilities together. For example, we wish to calculate the reliability of the system shown on the slide. Here, 0 0.99 times 0 0.95 times 0 0.94 equals 0 0.884. Series reliability will always be lower than the lowest component reliability. With parallel reliability, you can only have a failure if all of the parallel components fail. To calculate parallel reliability, we must compute the probability of a failure of all of the components and subtract that from 1. The generic formula to do that for any number of components is shown on the slide. For this particular example, overall reliability is 1 minus the quantity of the products of 1 minus the reliability of each component. That works out to 1 minus the quantity, 1 minus 0 0.89 times 1 minus 0 0.80 times 1 minus 0 0.75. Those calculations work out to 0 0.997. Note that with parallel reliability, the overall reliability will always be higher than the highest component reliability. Additionally, the more redundant components there are, the higher the overall reliability, even when those redundant components have low individual reliability. System reliability is nothing more than series reliability with one or more parallel components mixed in. This is shown on the slide. We begin by calculating the combined reliability of these parallel components. As shown on the slide, the parallel reliability of the redundant components works out to 0 0.98. We have now converted the system reliability problem into a series reliability problem, and we already know how to handle that. Multiplying the three series component reliabilities together gives us a product reliability of 0 0.838. Note that had there been more than one set of parallel reliabilities, we would have combined each set of parallel reliabilities separately and then computed the series reliability to find the system reliability. That will be the focus of our next example. For the set of components shown on the slide, compute the system reliability. Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. In this example, we have two sets of parallel components. We begin by computing the reliability of the first set of parallel components. Those calculations are shown on the slide and work out to be 0.974. We will treat the entire parallel system as one series component with 0 0.974 reliability. Performing the same calculations for the second set of parallel components yields a reliability of 0 0.92 as shown on the slide. We have now converted the problem into a series reliability problem that we are ready to complete. To find the overall system reliability, we multiply the five series reliabilities together. As shown on the slide, that works out to 0 0.776. If you found that this video helped you with your operations management problem, please consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel.